Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to make this cute little guy. This is Tom from Tom and Jerry. So the yarn I'm going to be using, and I know this is a darker yarn than he is where most of us remember Tom was the cat was always a light gray and a white um, then he went from light gray well a, a darker gray to a lighter gray chest and then he was blue at one point so he's been multiple colors throughout the years the Tom I remember is a light gray although I'm not building him in that color I'm building him in this dark gray charcoal so this is a red heart super saver and that's the color of it charcoal and that's the color i'm choosing to use only because i have this or light gray and i'm using the light gray that i have for my um bugs bunny right now so <laughs> i'm gonna use the darker gray to build tom does that make sense and this white is just it's a burnett premium i just got it at walmart and i, I think it's a fabulous nice F thick four weight so these are the two yarns that I'm using um, I'm not sure what hooks they call for uh, probably a five millimeter uh, so I'm going to use a 4.5 for this project because it is going to be built in amigurumi so we're going to build all the body parts in this um, video first because he's all built in one piece, so it just makes sense to build the body parts first, and then we kind of put them all together. So, um, we're going to start with our gray, and we're going to build a body bridge so that he has a space between his legs. So, we're going to start with a long tail slip knot, and that just basically means before you make your slip knot, you make sure you have a long tail. You're going to chain four. And you're going to do three single crochets. You're going to chain one, turn your work. And I know it seems super small, but it's just enough to give him that gap between his legs. We're going to do three rows of three stitches. <laughs> that is it. So now that's all done and ready to go for when our legs are complete. So you just need sewing tails at both ends. And that's why we did the long tail slip knot. So it'll get sewn on like this to either leg. So you know that it's not getting sewn on like that. Although it can, I suppose. It just will bring you closer together. But we'll just set that aside for now and move on. So moving on, we'll start with the hand and arm because we're just going to follow the PDF here. The legs get, um, we, we use the legs to start the body. So the legs are going to be the last thing because um, one of them we fasten off of, the other one we don't. So we'll get the arms done first. That's the, the madness I'm doing right now. So we'll do a magic ring of six single crochets. You're going to need a stitch marker since this is built in amigurumi. We don't slip stitch and we don't chain. Our first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch. 
so we don't again slip stitch or chain we go right into our first stitch and we start building so after your first stitch that's where your marker goes and then stitch number two can go in that same space two single crochets in each stitch around will give you 12 stitches Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase and this will bring you up to 18 stitches. I am weaving my tail in at the back. That's one single crochet and then your next stitch will get the increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase and this will bring you up to 24 stitches. That's number one with your marker. That's number two and then the next stitch will get the increase of two single crochets in the same space and repeat. Your next round is going to be, well, your next three rounds, one single crochet in each stitch for the next three rows. So that is my three rows. That's what it should look like. So we're going to start decreasing now. We're going to do two single crochets and a decrease. So that's number one. That's number two. And then your decrease. So I'm going to do invisible one so you don't have to. A regular decrease is just going into the stitch, pull up a loop, going into your next stitch, pull up a loop, yarning over and pulling through all three loops. An invisible decrease is done a little bit differently and it's done in the front loops only. So go into your first front loop, then pop around to your second front loop, then you yarn over, pull through that, and finish the stitch. Just cuts down on the gapping that you get, but you can do whatever which one you want. Two single crochet decrease will bring you down to 18 stitches. So for round eight, all you have to do is one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches.
Your next round is going to be one single crochet and a decrease and this will bring you down to 12 stitches. That's your one single crochet so we jump right into our decrease all the way around. So we can put some stuffing in this. And then for the next two rows, before we switch to gray, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. So when we switch to gray, we're going to increase. Or whatever color you're using, I said switch to gray, but I mean, whatever color you're using. So you, you don't need to make this tight. We want it to be still squishy because this is what we're doing to it. So to make it look like a paw. So you need it to still be squishy. So for the next two rows, you're going to do one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches and then on your last stitch of your second row, you're going to switch to gray. So I'm on my last stitch, I'm going to pull up a loop and I'm going to switch to gray. Cut off your white or weave if that's what you're doing. And then with the gray, tuck this down, we're going to increase. So we're going to do three single crochets and an increase. That's number one. That's three single crochets and then your next stitch will get the increase of two single crochets in the same space. Repeat this all the way around and this will leave you with 15 stitches. And from here, for the next 16 rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 15 stitches. Stuff as you go, and I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have. That's my 16 rows. And I'm already stuffed. I kind of stuffed as I went. So you can fasten off. We're not done with the arm yet, but you need a little bit of sewing tail because you're going to sew it to the body before you crochet it on. <coughs> so. Make sure this is on the side for when when you sew. We have to sew this on. So what you do here, just make sure that your little dilly dally thing here is on the side. So you need to get a, just a gray piece of yarn. 
however long, long enough. I, I mean, that's not an answer, but <laughs> I don't know. So this is what we're doing. I'll show you here. So this is what we're doing to make the paw. This is not the original hand or foot that I had on the doll that I posted on my Facebook page. I changed it because I really, really, really did not like the look of it. So I changed it to this. So it actually looks like a cat because it was driving me crazy having human hands and human feet on a cat, even though that's what the cartoon depicts. So again, one side is going to be better than the other. Oh, sorry. One side's going to be better than the other. But you can't really help that. Unless you're an expert at it, which I am not. I haven't made too many of these legs. So I've got two of mine. Um, I'm going to let you go and make your other um, arm at the end of the video. We're not going to do it right now. I'm going to put the pattern up at the end of chapter one before we jump into chapter two. So we're going to move on to the ears. That's the next big thing. And then the leg and then chapter done. Chapter one will be done. So PDF users, you're going to have to scroll all the way down near the bottom to get to the ears because I'm not doing this in order of the PDF. And we're going to start with our charcoal or whatever color you're using. And we're going to make a magic ring of six single crochets. The first round is going to be one single crochet in each of these six stitches. So I'm going to pull my, my middle closed and I'm going to make a knot to keep it closed. Next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. number one with your marker and then the second stitch can go into that same space two single crochets in each space each stitch all the way around gives you 12 stitches So your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet and then the next stitch gets the increase which is two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. This will bring you up to 18 stitches.
Well, your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. This will bring you up to 24 stitches. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 30 stitches. So for the next seven rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches and I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have. This is my seven rows and I'm going to fasten off. So this does not get stuffed. It gets whip stitched, closed. You're going to need a sewing tail. Then we'll do the pink for the top part. So That's your ear. So we're going to make the pink part for the inside. So I've just got this pink here that um, I don't even really know what it is. It's quite thick. Like almost worsted thick, but it's just four weight. So I'm not sure what it is. I'm not even sure the color, but it's not very soft. So it's just scrap yarn I'm just using for the pink. So just grab whatever scrap yarn you have if you got pink and use it. It doesn't really matter what color, but you're going to make a slip knot and you're going to chain 11. So you're going to do 10 single crochets back up. So I think I'm going to yarn under for this project just so it I don't it's not as big as I think it might be. Like I just don't want it to be too big cuz it's such a thick it's thick yarn. And I'll show you what I mean by that for those that don't know. Um so when you go into your stitch, generally you grab your piece like this, you go over grab your your yarn over well, when you yarn under, you kind of come up like this. So you're coming from underneath it. 
and then grabbing it. So that's the difference between yarning over and yarning under. So I'm going to yarn under. My first two stitches are going to be single crochet two together. So do a decrease in your first two stitches. And then I'm going to do six single crochets across. Now, yarning under is also good if you are a loose crocheter like I am. It gives you a tighter and boxier stitch. So you should have two stitches left. And this is the turning over stitch, the one that likes to flip over. And you're going to decrease those two together. So just a decrease. Chain one, turn your work. So you should have eight stitches. I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these eight stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So now you're going to decrease the first two stitches again. Then you're going to do four single crochets. And decrease the last two. Chain one, turn your work. And now I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these six stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So you're going to decrease the first two. You're going to do two single crochets and then decrease the last two. Chain one, turn your work. And now I want you to put one single crochet in each of these four stitches. Chain one, turn your work. So decrease these first two and then decrease these last two. We're getting right down to the bare bones. Chain one, turn your work. You should have two stitches left and I want you to just decrease the last two. Fasten off and that is what we'll put the point on. So you just need enough to sew this to the ear. So you got a cute little triangle. And that cute little triangle gets sewn to the inside of your ear. So we can do that and then we'll move on to the leg and that'll be the end of chapter one. I just use this as like an anchor point. There. <laughs> I keep going off camera. There. So, um, I'm just going to weave. I'm going to weave out the shared space. Not that I think any little kitties are going to be trying to rip this inside of the ear off, but you never know. Always better to be safe than sorry. So 
So this ear is meant to curl in significantly around the bottom when we sew it on. So it does get sewn on kind of like that, like really weird. His ears are weird. Anyway, let's move on to the legs. So to start the legs, we're going to start with a white. As soon as my camera decides it's going to work. Uh, PDF users, if uh, you want to, you're going to have to scroll all the way back up. Gotcha, gotcha everywhere. If you're using it on your computer. If you're new to my channel and you're not sure why I keep saying PDF users, um, if you join my channel and become a member, um, that membership gets you access to all my PDFs for every video that I do. So that's what that's all about. It's pretty cheap to join. It's like three, four bucks a month and you get access to all, all my PDFs. And, and if there's a PDF that's not there that you've seen a video that I've done, but I haven't put the PDF up, um, just ask me for it and I'll put the PDF up. So anyway, starting with white, we're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. Your first round is going to be two single crochets in each stitch bringing you up to 12 stitches. So after the first stitch, that's where your marker goes. Next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. That's one single crochet and then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 24 stitches. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. And this brings you up to 30 stitches. For the next three rows, you should have 30 stitches. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. So that's what you should have after your three rows. So we're gonna to start to decrease. So we're gonna do a three single crochet decrease and this will bring it down to 24 stitches.
So your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring it down to 18 stitches. So you should have 18 stitches. Your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. So we're going to start doing the heel part of the foot. So I want you to start with nine single crochets. That's my nine single crochets. I'm going to chain one and I'm going to turn. And I'm going to do that again. Nine single crochets. Chain one and turn. So we're going to decrease these two stitches, these first two. And then we're going to do five single crochets. And then we're going to decrease the last two. Chain one, turn your work. Decrease again, the first two. Now we're going to do three single crochets. and then decrease the last two. So you'll see it written as SC to tog. That means to single crochet two together. So now we're going to crochet around. So PDF users, you'll see it say down the raw side. That's the stuff with no stitches over here. And up the raw side is the stuff over here with no stitches. It's written on the PDF that way. So I first want you to do five single crochets, or so just right across the top. And then you've got this going down with no stitches, but I want you to try to get in three single crochets. So just stick your hook in anywhere and make three single crochets. And then I want you to do 10 single crochets all the way around, starting in this first corner. Take my marker out because it doesn't make a difference. So this is my tenth stitch. And then I want you to do three single crochets back up this raw side. So just try to stick your hook where you stuck your last hook. <laughs> Does that make sense? And you should have 21 stitches. So our marker spot is now going to be this first stitch up here at the top. So go into that first stitch and put your marker in there. I want you to do seven single crochets. So that counts as number one. And 
and then I want you to decrease these next two stitches so that takes you right down to this across here I want you to do three single crochets and then decrease again three single crochets and then decrease again and then you should have two single crochet <coughs> excuse me two single crochets to the marker so we can stuff this guy Don't put a lot in here because we're doing the same thing we did with the hand. That's what we're doing. So we need this to not be full and stiff. We need it to be kind of loosey goosey. So we'll do the toe part after the next couple of rows. This next row with your white is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches. Oops, I tucked my, I buried my white down in here. And then um, we're going to change color. So when you come back around, that'll be our color change. So this is my color change, my 18th stitch. So we're not increasing or decreasing or anything right now. We're going to stick with our one single crochet in each of these 18 stitches and we're going to do this for 18 rows. So, um, this at the back for your heel I would just for the first few rows kind of pull up a bit to make these taller eventually they even out and it looks perfectly fine and then when you start getting around the front you can just start making normal stitches don't have to pull up so I would just do that for the first few rows until it becomes even It'll look better once you start stuffing it too. So we'll get to the um, what to do with the toe before we build our 18 rows just so it's done and you know what it's going to look like. Because after your 18 rows is done, if you need to take out stuffing, you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able to get your finners in there. So. So before I go any further, just make sure your heel part is face down. So your your little doodad should be on the side here. So you just need a piece of gray. Again. So we're not, I'm going to put this here just so you can see it. Oh. There, you can see that. So we're doing the two, just the two pieces. Um, two, three, four, five. About the same area as I did the uh, other one, five, six.
So, now we can finish putting stuffing in it. So once you're able to kind of push the stuffing back so that you make a heel, it does look a lot better up here. I'll put some in later. So, I've already done one round. 17 more to go. And I will see you on the other side. I'm still going to pull up on the back stitches a little bit. So that's my leg and my foot. Um, I'm not going to fasten off mine because this is my second leg. That's my first leg. So um, fasten off your first leg. So the one you're doing now, you can fasten off and leave a sewing tail. But don't fasten off your second leg because we're going to crochet these together. But we're going to use the body bridge that we built at the beginning of the video to give the leg gap. So, um, we'll do that in chapter two. So, I'm going to end chapter one. I'll, I'll put on the pattern not to fasten off your second leg. Um, but I'll put all the patterns up for the ears, arms, and legs for you to make all your second pieces. And you can fasten off everything except for the leg. And I will see you in chapter two. And we'll start getting this guy all together.
Hi guys, welcome back to chapter two. So, <clears throat> we have to um, crochet these guys together. So, we just gotta sew this body bridge on. So the body bridge, make sure you're sewing it on where the wrong side is facing you so that the right side is down. So this corner will get sewn on long wise. So not this way, this way. And then this will sew on the other side. The trick is trying to find the midway of your leg to sew it on. But it should be only be four stitches. Now there's no stitches on this side because it's the raw side of the body bridge. But you'll use four stitches of your leg to sew it on. But don't make a knot until you know that it's in the right spot. And then you can sew your other end on. So I'm happy with the location of it, I suppose, as much as I can see. From, it's hard to hold it still and everything. It's just there for me to put stitches into, so if you're not using a body bridge and you're just um, sewing your legs together, then, you know, that's fine too. So, it's not the nicest looking thing. It's pretty rough, but I just needed to put a couple of stitches. So, if I put two in here, I gotta make sure I only put two in the back type of thing. So, we can start going around. Our first round is just going to be one single crochet. Now, when I did my first doll, I made sure that I had 40 stitches. Well, this is my 39th stitch and I should have 40, so I'm just going to put uh, one more stitch into that. It won't be noticeable. So I have 40 stitches and a decent leg gap. So, your next round is going to be six single crochets and a decrease. Yes, a decrease. <laughs> and this will bring you down to 35 stitches. That's number one. That is six single crochets. And I'm going to do my invisible decrease. So, your next round, round three to six, you're going to do four rows of one single crochet in each stitch. So, that's my four rows. So, we're going to continue to decrease. Next round is going to be five single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 30 stitches. You should have 30 stitches, so for the next 15 rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 30 stitches. 
and I will see you on the other side. So this is my 15 rows. Um, we're going to be sewing the arms on, so make sure that this is fully stuffed. It's just so you get the right shape before we attach our arms. So, I didn't go all the way to the top. It doesn't really matter which one goes on which one, because they don't have thumbs. But you do want them to, to be like that, not like that. So it's the only thing you gotta watch out for. So I used five stitches to sew mine on. All my stuffing's in the way. So this next round is just going to be one single crochet in each stitch around and I got 42 stitches. So if you want numbers like mine, and if I want numbers like mine, we have to make sure we get 42 stitches. So we're going to start decreasing now. So your next round is going to be four single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 35 stitches. So your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 28 stitches. And your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 21 stitches. And your next round is just one single crochet in each of these 21 stitches. Your last decrease round is going to be one single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 14 stitches and that's about as far as we go for his neck. So we jump right into the decrease because number one stitch is our marker.
For the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 14 stitches, and I will see you on the other side. So we're going to start to increase now, so your next round is going to be one single crochet and an increase. We're starting his head. That's one single crochet, so your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. And repeat. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 28 stitches. That's number one with the marker. That's number two, and then your increase. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase, and this will bring you up to 35 stitches. So your next round is going to be four single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 42 stitches. Your next round, round 35, is going to be five single crochets and an increase. And this will bring it up to 49 stitches. And then I want you to follow it up with round 36 of one single crochet in each of those 49 stitches. So, uh, my last round was round 36, one single crochet in each stitch around for 49 stitches. We're going to start decreasing now. So we're going to do a five single crochet decrease. That'll bring you down to 42 stitches. So this is what you should have. For the next four rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 42 stitches, and I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have. Your next decrease is going to be four single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring it down to 35 stitches. So 
So you should have 35 stitches. So for the next two rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 35 stitches. Your next round is going to be three single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to 28 stitches. So you should have 28 stitches. For the next two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each of these 28 stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease and this will bring you down to 21 stitches and then I want you to do two rows of one single crochet in each of those 21 stitches. So I know his head's pretty funny looking. It's pretty funny looking anyway. So your last couple of rounds, the first one's going to be one single crochet and a decrease. And this will bring you down to 14 stitches. And then you're just going to follow it up with one single crochet in each of those 14 stitches. Everything will be on my pause screen. And I will see you on the other side. So that is it. We can fasten off and get this guy stuffed and cinched. So it should look like a teardrop shape. Alright, so I'm popping out the top, so I think my cinch is going to be pretty decent. If you don't have enough in here, the cinch will be all wrinkly. So, in the front loop, out the front loop, all the way around. So I'm going to pop across and make my knot. And I'm going to pop across the other direction. Make my knot. There we go. So that's the shape of the head. It should be somewhat flat now on top, not so pointy. And that's what you should have. So that's going to be the end of chapter two and when we come back for chapter three we're going to do his face, his belly thing and sew his ears on and put his hair on his top of his noggin and uh, we'll be all done so it'll be a short chapter three. I'll see you there.
Hi guys, welcome back to chapter three. So I've got this light gray color. This is a Craftsmart, just light gray. And um, this is just what I'm gonna use to do his belly patch. And then we'll move on to his face. So the ears on and we're done. So get whatever gray color you use and I'll meet you right back here. All right, so we're gonna start with a chain five. Still use my 4.5 and I want you to do four single crochets back up. You only have four working stitches. The fifth one was still on your hook. So you should go right back to the very tippy top. Chain one, turn your work. So we're gonna instantly start increasing. So in this first stitch, we're gonna put two single crochets. And then you're gonna do two single crochets. And then this last stitch, you're gonna put two single crochets in that same space. Chain one, turn your work. We're gonna do that again. So in the first stitch, you're gonna put two single crochets. And now you're gonna do four single crochets across. And then this last stitch, you're gonna do two single crochets. Chain one, turn your work. So for the next eight rows, you're gonna put one single crochet in these eight stitches. And I will see you on the other side. So that's my eight rows. So for the next five rows, you're gonna do three half doubles. Oh, that was my elbow on my table. Three half doubles. Two singles, three half doubles. For the next five rows. Chain two, turn your work. So that's what you should have. So this is the shape that we're kind of going for. And that is it. You can fasten off. Um, long sewing tail. I suppose you're gonna have to sew all the way around. <laughs> And if you choose to stuff it, that's up to you. But when you sew, just make sure you kind of keep this little arch shape because that's what he has on his belly. I like to use this tail just to kind of lag him down once I figure out where he's going. He's in place. So I've got these pins. They're wig pins, so the top of them holds things nicely.
So moving on to the muzzle, we're going to get our white and we're going to make a chain seven. We're going to do five single crochets back up. That's my five single crochets. In this last space, we're going to put four single crochets in here. And the way it wants to curve around, we're going to follow that curve. So we're going to be working in the round. That's what that means. So pull your slip knot tight. Just make sure you're getting into that stitch. That's my slip knot. Make sure you're getting into that stitch right next to it. And you're going to do four single crochets. And in this last stitch, you're going to put four single crochets. So this will block part of your first stitch, so you just got to pull that back. We're going to get into that first stitch. Put your stitch marker in there just so you can follow along. I'm going to cut this off at the back since I waved it in a little bit. So that is stitch number one with your marker. We're going to do six single crochets. So that's stitch number one. This is my sixth single crochet. And these two stitches right here at the top, we're going to put two single crochets in each of those. And then I want you to do seven single crochets to get to the other side where you're going to have two stitches left. That's my seventh single crochet and I've got these two stitches left. I'm going to put two single crochets in each of those. So now for the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each stitch. You should have 21 stitches. Then I will see you on the other side. So this is what you should have something that looks like this. So we're going to fasten off with sewing tail. So this does get stuffing. Um, but before we put, we have to sew it, start sewing it on before we can stuff it. But this is a little 10 millimeter, I think, safety eye that I'm going to use for a nose. <laughs> so just a tiny wee thing. So this is the first chain line that we did. You can tell by the big holes where we worked in the round over here. And I'm just going to put that above that line like that. my back on. So I'm going to start sewing it and then I'm going to stuff it and then we can do the rest of what we're going to do with that. So you got to make sure you keep enough room for the eyes and eyebrows. It sits pretty low on the face
We're doing a bottom lip, so you just need to leave a little bit for the bottom lip. But for the most part, so we're going to stuff this after it gets sewn on a little bit. So, we just need to get some black, a long piece. We'll use some of this for the whiskers too. But we're going to make this black part um, by the nose. So go in as close as you can to the nose. Pop out the bottom. It's hard to get in under it, so I just wrap it around. So you don't need to pull super duper tight. So I'm going to use the rest of this to do my whiskers. I'm going to go in and out. So pull it as long as you want your whisker to be over here and then cut this off to length. It's hard to see. Go into your next hole wherever you want them. So we can make the bottom mouth part. You're going to need some red felt and some white yarn. So the bottom part of the jaw is pretty quick. We're going to do a magic ring of six single crochets. You're going to do two single crochets in each stitch around. This is being built in amigurumi, so no slip stitching, no chaining. After your first stitch goes the marker. Stitch number two can go in there and then two single crochets in each stitch all the way around gives you a total of 12 stitches. And your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of those 12 stitches and then we can fasten off. Easy peasy. I'm going to tie this guy in a knot. Just because I don't want it to open. But it's not that much of a big deal that I have to weave it in. So we're going to whip stitch this. Okay, so that's our little lower jaw. So it will get sewn on, curved like this. And we're gonna sew it on before we do the tongue because 
it's going to be a lot easier. So it's going to get sewn on curved like that. Which is easier than it sounds, but it's going to get curved like that when we sew it on. So it's open. So now we need to get some glue and some felt. We're going to use felt and stuff for the eyes too. So you need red for the tongue, white and black for the eyes. Before we do the felt, we're going to sew our ears on. So our ears get curved too. Trying to get him to sit. That's not the easiest thing to show you, but they get start sewing here and they get curved almost back on his head. So if you do start in the middle of your marker, in the middle of his head, eventually you've got to move his. Like normally an ear will get sewn on like that because it would be even, right? But his actually has to go back a little bit. That's just the way his ears are, so that's what I did. And I made sure I kept it curvy. So all my ears aren't sewn on exactly matchy matchy because <coughs> it's hard to sew on camera. <coughs> Excuse me. So as far as the felt stuff goes, I've got some of this glue. It's clear. It's really good glue. I've got felt that's kind of hard and it kind of sucks, but you can see where I cut out my other eyes. But let's do the mouth first. So we'll do the little red mouth part. So one part can be kind of round and the other part can be kind of straight. And you're just going to glue it. Push that down. You're just going to glue it like that in his mouth. eyes if you don't have two pieces of white I only have one piece of white so I'm just gonna fold it in half to cut my eyes just so that they're the same So, that's my eyes, now we need to do the black part. I 
Now he looks like Tom. So while we wait for this to dry, the last thing we need to do is his tail. So by the time we're done the tail, this should be dry. So that'll be next. So this is the tail that I did. I did not stuff the tail because I found like it was um, more in the way if I stuffed it. So we're going to do this waterfall stitch. It's super duper easy, but it just makes the tail look like it should but it's not stuffed at all, just so you know. So, starting with white, we're gonna do a magic ring of six single crochets. For the first two rows, you're just going to put one single crochet in each stitch. So we get a nice, nice point. So I'm just going to count to six, but if you're not sure where your stitches are, then I would use the marker. Well, I'm going to count to 12 for my two rows. That's my two rows. Your next round is going to be one single crochets and an increase. I use my marker now. That's one single crochet and then your next stitch gets the increase of two single crochets in the same space. Stick this down in there. It's the most stuffing that we're going to do. <laughs> so you should have nine stitches. Your next round is going to be one single crochet in each of these nine stitches. Your next round is going to be two single crochets and an increase, and this will bring it up to 12 stitches. And then one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. Next round is going to be three single crochets and an increase. This will bring it up to 15 stitches. For the next three rows, I just want you to put one single crochet in each of these 15 stitches and then we're going to switch to gray. So I'm on my last stitch of my third row and that's when I'm going to switch to gray. the gray this is where we're going to do the waterfall stitch. Now if you don't want to do the waterfall stitch that's perfectly fine. You don't have to do it. I just thought it was super duper neat. So 
So, the waterfall stitch is just a stitch that's done not in this row that you're working, but the row below. So, we're going to start with one single crochet so we, that we can put our marker in. So just go into that stitch and do one single crochet. This next stitch, I want you to drop down one so it's kind of on an angle a little bit because we work in a spiral. So it's not this one over here. Go from here to here with a double crochet. You're going to put two double crochets into this space. So when you pull up on your double, you're just going to keep pulling up so you get the height to meet back up in this row and finish your stitch. So put another double crochet into that same space and pull up till you get the height to be in this row. So you're going to skip this next stitch that usually gets partially blocked by these two stitches, but you're going to skip it anyway. And in the next stitch you're going to do a single crochet and then a single crochet. So two single crochets are going to follow your waterfall stitch with a skipped stitch. So here we go in this next stitch, drop down a level, we're going to put two double crochets as a waterfall stitch. You're going to skip this and you're going to do two single crochets. Waterfall stitch, so two double crochets in the row below. Skip a stitch, put two single crochets. Two double crochets in the row below. And now you only have the skipped stitch, so you're going to skip it. So we go into our next round. We're skipping that, so we just go in here to start with a single crochet. That's your first stitch of your next round. Your next round is going to be one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You should have 15 stitches. The same amount of stitches that we had before we started our gray. So we still have 15 stitches because even though we put two stitches in here, we skipped one. So that takes place of the skipped stitch, having the two stitches and skipping one. So in fact, we should have the same amount. You're going to do one single crochet for 16 rows altogether. Now I just did one with you, so for the next 15 rows, you're going to do one single crochet in each of these stitches. And you don't have to stuff. If you don't want to stuff your tail, <laughs> then you don't have to stuff your tail. So that is my 16 rows all together. And it's not stuffed. So we're going to start to decrease because I wanted to kind of taper in before we had to sew it to the bum bum. So I did a three single crochet decrease to start. And your next round is just going to be one single crochet in each of these 12 stitches. Okay. 
Your next round is going to be two single crochets and a decrease, and this will bring you down to nine stitches. And then I want you to do your last row as one single crochet in each of the nine stitches. So that's number one. That's number two, and then your decrease. So you can fasten off. You need a sewing tail. We're going to cinch this closed. It's just easier to sew it on that way, I think. So in the front loop, out the front loop, all the way around. The reason I didn't whip stitch this is because it just looks better cinched. I tapered it for a reason. I didn't really want to square it off. There we go. And that's your little tail. So I think my guy is probably dry because that's pretty good glue. So, I'm just going to sew my bum, I'm going to sew my bum, I'm going to sew my tail to my bum. So, let me zoom out so you can see what I'm doing. So, um, I sewed it on where his tail, let me scooch him forward here. I sewed him on where his tail was even with the color of his <laughs> legs where the color changes, but I mean, that's completely up to you. And there we have it. So the only thing left, The only thing left to do is his eyebrows. And that is it, I'm pretty sure. Just his eyebrows. So I saved a piece of my black for when I did my whiskers. So I made these quite thick. But you really gotta make sure that you're... Oh, we gotta do the hair tuft too. So you gotta really make sure that you're not um, making as making him have an angry face. I made them quite large on my other guy, but I think I'll just make them a normal, normal size here. So it's completely up to you how you do your eyebrows. I know, it's so hard to see. That's my eyebrows. And then his little tuft of hair. I just took my yarn and wrapped it around my fingers a bit. Cut this. Well, I'll cut it after anyway. And then you just take your little pieces, fold them in half ish, pick up a post, like just like you're doing regular hair. Pull it through so you have a loop, yarn over, and pull through the loop. So we're going to add all this hair first, and then I'll show you what I do. I 
Anyway, once you got your hair on there, I unraveled. So this is most four weights are weaved with four pieces, and I kind of just fluffed it up and then cut it and fluffed it up, actually. I cut it first, and then I just fluffed it up. So once all mine is unraveled, I just cut it really short. There we go. Now we're done. Now we're done. I don't much like that. Squared off like that, so. There we go. Thanks for joining me, guys. I'll see you in the next video.